Cassini was an incredible mission. We spent 13 years in orbit around Saturn studying the planet, the rings, and the moons, as well as the giant magnetic bubble that contains Saturn. We learned so much. And then in 2017, in September, we dove in between the rings and the planet, and on our final orbit, vaporized in Saturn's atmosphere. Cassini's legacy has to do with the fact we discovered ocean worlds orbiting Saturn, places where liquid water could exist underneath the icy crusts of the moons Enceladus and Titan. And on Enceladus's seafloor, there are hydrothermal vents providing energy and nutrients, and we wonder, could there be life in Enceladus's ocean? been a wonderful collaboration with the Europeans, and in particular here in France with IPGP. Uh, my colleague Cecile Ferrari and I work on Saturn ring data using the composite infrared spectrometer. I've been in that since uh, some decades. <laughs> and so we have been working together on uh, exploring uh, Saturn rings, in particular in the, uh, exploring their implied emission try to understand what they are made of, uh, what is their uh, dynamics, and uh, are they young, are they old, uh, what's their mass, so many different questions that were uh, a mystery before, before Cassini arrived. So we, with Linda we met uh, quite 30 years ago, and uh, so we were both uh, working on, on the Voyager 2 mission that was a flyby uh, Neptune at that time. And, um, and then we, we met again and, and collaborated more, more intensively uh, thanks to the, the Cassini mission and in particular on the CIRS uh, spectrometer on board the, the spacecraft because part of the, spacecraft, the, part of the detectors that are uh, inside CIRS uh, have been built at SACLE, at the Service Astrophysique, and so where I was uh, working uh, before uh, coming to IPGP. And so we have been collaborating for 20 years, I guess, now for, on these uh, world of nations. Well, in fact, Cecile and I both used ring data for our PhD thesis. I used the Voyager data of Saturn's rings, and Cecile used the Voyager data of Neptune's rings. And we were both very eager to go back to Saturn and study the rings in even more detail and have a chance for 13 years to collect millions of spectra on Saturn trains. What a great mission. I'm here to give a talk today on the legacy of Cassini. What are some of the highlights of what we learned and what we hope we might discover as we keep looking at the Cassini data.